What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing all right. Uh, my Project 350Z, now we've got all the suspension, the brakes, a uh, bit of the rust sort of pre-treated, um, you know, all that all that good stuff I've been doing to over the channel. Um, all my videos on how to do a lot of stuff on this car um, are on my, just in my playlist and my videos on the channel, so please um, go and look at those if you own one of these cars and you want to know how to do a lot of stuff on it. I've done tons of this car. But I think now I've done that, it is time to max power it. Um, now, for those of you who remember max power, pretty much what I grew up with, is something that looks sort of like this. Now, the reason I want to do that is because I've always loved modified cars. I've loved modifying cars since I basically got my first car. Um, it was atrocious, my first car. Um, even I admit it was a bit embarrassing. But I know with a car like this, I can make it really, really nice. So the plan was to, you know, well, max power it, give it some real, you know, turn and head effect. Um, I want it to, I want to go to shows and be known as, wow, it's that 350Z off, off uh, YouTube. And basically the first step I thought was, um, well, doing a, doing a spoiler. Um, and I didn't really want to wreck that boot lid because I don't know, like I want to modify this car, but I want to do it in a way I can turn it back basically. So the other week I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found a boot lid and believe it or not, it was free and it was in this color, but there was a little bit of a catch. Yeah, um, as you can see, there is a massive catch with that free boot lid in terms of it was free because it's scrap. That's why it was free. So, um, well, we'd driven all the way and I got a free pair of side skirts out of it as well. Standard ones, but, you know, free nonetheless. They had a bit of damage on them, but it's all good. Um, I took the boot lid, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to learn how to do paint and body filler stuff on that because I feel like you could repair that quite easily. I feel like it had a wing, well, it did, he told me I had a wing on it previously, but it was a bit crashed up. Um, I think he put it into a wall. He said he hit a curb, but you know, it's what it is. Um, but yeah, basically I'm gonna be fixing that boot lid. Um, and this whole video is gonna be learning how to do paint correction. It's not perfect, the end result, trust me, I've already seen it the time I've filmed this intro. Um, but yeah, let's let me show you what I've been doing.
guys, this is how the boot lid is looking now. I've filled and flattened that hole and the crack. It's not perfect, but for a first go, I don't think it's bad. Um, I've painted it and I've cleared it, and now it's time to wet sand it and hopefully get a nice shine back in that paint. So let's get on with that. The key apparently to getting a good shiny finish is to work up in stages of the wet and dry sandpaper. So I've gone from 2000 to 3000 to 4000 to 5000, dried off in between every stage. And then at the end, I'll show you what you do, but you basically buff out the scratches and it should give you a nice uh, uniform shiny finish. Right guys, so the wet sanding has dried and now it's time to use a buffer with a bit of uh, polish that should bring the shine back in this. Now, I will say this is not perfect by any means. You know, you can see the line where it's been painted and all that sort of stuff. It's not completely the best job. It's my first go. That's what this whole video is about. And I won't um, give you a spoiler alert, but there's some plans for this boot lid in the future, which means I don't really want it perfect. I just wanted it fixed. But yeah, for now, let's get on with the uh, uh, waxing and um, getting these scratches out. And there we go, guys. That is pretty much it. I say it's not perfect. Um, but I didn't need it to be perfect. Um, obviously the badge is gonna go back on here, uh, possibly there as well, but there's plans for this boot lid. Um, I say it wasn't ever intended to be perfect. It was destroyed. I reckon it'd been in a crash. I think the spoiler had been ripped off the boot, um, but you know, I don't know the history. I just got it for free, so I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, um, for first attempt at trying to body fill, I don't think I've done bad, obviously, or a few rough edges here and there, but with the plans I have for it, all will be revealed as to why it doesn't need to be exactly perfect. But yeah, guys, um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed watching me learn how to uh, body fill and how to paint. Um, still something I'm not great at, but obviously, you know, like this channel has always been about try and do these things yourself. You never know. You may learn something new. You may end up enjoying it. <laughs> or both you never know but yeah guys for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one cheers